Good morning, everybody. My name is Gabby. We are here with Fluffy. This is his second week with us here at Best Paul Forward. <clears throat> he is a part of our day train program. We have Victoria here working with him today. And what we are working on is a little bit of place with door. So the reason we are specifically working on this with him is because he is a little bit of a jumper. So he gets overly excited and he tends to jump up. So we want to make sure if we're having guests come over that he is able to remain on this place as we open the door, have the guests come in so that he is not rushing the door and jumping up. So this can also be used for if you have some delivery or if you have food being brought to the house to open that door safely without him running out that door. So it can also be used for that as well. So. Right now, we're just working on place with door. A little bit later this week, we're going to add in a guest, make it a little bit more challenging on the other side of that door, and eventually they'll be able to come in and say hi to him. Now, he can be in a sit or a down on place, does not matter, whatever he's more comfortable in, and it looks like he is more comfortable in that down, which is fine. To start out, we're going to have him stay. We're going to walk over to that door. We're just going to touch that handle. Good, we're not really gonna open it yet. And then we're gonna reinforce him for staying. Oh boy. Good. Stay. Now this time we might move that handle a little bit more. We might, good. Now we're moving through this quickly here because we have worked on this before. When you get him home, it might be a little bit different. So it's a different environment, an environment he hasn't worked on this okay. in. So it might take a little bit longer in each step and each rip. You might have to do a little bit more re repetitions. Good. Very nice. Yes. So he's able to stay that time. We were able to open that door about a quarter to halfway. Fluffy. Good. Stay. And when we're starting out, we're starting out with that harness, that leash on to make sure we have a way to stop him if he is to get up. Good boy. Good. Free. Very nice. We use the word free to let him know he can get up Please. and walk around. Sit. Now another thing you can start to do is add in a knock. It's just going to get him used to hearing that knock being on place. <clears throat> so eventually we'll get to the point where you can knock on that door and instead of rushing the door like a lot of dogs do, he will actually go to his place automatically. Very nice. So this is how you're gonna move through it. You're gonna move through gradually. You're gonna to start to make it a little bit harder each time. Very nice. That time we added a doorbell. Good. And now this last time here, we're just gonna free him. We're gonna either knock or we're gonna add that doorbell and then we're gonna put him back on the place. And we'll end it there. There. Please. Getting him used to that doorbell, getting him used to that knock, and going on to that place after hearing those things. We can open that door fully. Very nice. He's looking right at Victoria, very focused, not rushing the door. So this is that next step after place just to kind of get him used to going on to that place, opening that door without a guest so that when we do add in that guest, it's gonna be a lot easier. So you guys have any questions on this? Let us know. You can use a place like this. You can use a dog bed. You can use a spot on the carpet. Um, anything that you designate as place. The only difference from place is great. But he's doing a great job. You guys have any questions? Let us know. We will see you next time.